Keep your elbow up, or your arrow will go astray. I know. But my arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And playing the string don't catch on your nose. Ah! I know! In you go and Whoa. get out of those rags. But all of them. I should think so. yourself in a towel. Finally. I was so worried you'd... Ach, Mum, you always worry. Everything's fine, ain't it? Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Mum, she's from the continent. She's shy. I was worried about drafts. A lung infection's the last thing I need right now. See, Astrid? Girls your age can be sensible after all. Sensible girls aren't tossed on shore by the waves. Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Back home, have you got saunas too? You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. No, that's not right. I wasn't in a shipwreck. Hmm. So, what brings you to our shores? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It it breaks Gyal's heart. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. Do you fancy Gyal? Well, he seems nice. Oh. oh my. He's that bad? Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair and it's not to you. Listen, it's lovely sitting here with you, but I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofferton groans and bitches quite like you do. Sit down and be quiet. Child, Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful, it's slippery. Thank you, once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey.
Regards to your father. Walking. Huh? Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Tell her to take the wash down. You keep practice. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Except to mention that you fancy me. What? what? But I asked her... Besides, it's not... Of course, you are very... But... You know what? That's right. You're in a hurry and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a hurry. <clears throat> Your first kiss, wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Uh, aye, me first. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Run for your lives! You stay here! I'll go and... I can look after myself.
What? What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. I don't know how to thank you. You can thank me once we get there safe. Let's ride. Watch out! Ride, silly! Don't look back! Faster! Faster than... What became of that creature? Where is he? What? I saw him and stoned but he sold him. To whom? No. No. Be gone. It's uh, to tell them in my name. <laughs> Be gone, I say. <laughs> Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth, or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. What? What happened to the garden? 
It died. Like I said, the spell, it requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense of decency is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. Yen, let's get out of here. Now. You needn't ask me twice. The garden! Our garden! Why could you? We helped! And you! Inconceivable! Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We have every right to be furious. Furious! And you! You will pay for this. I'm sorry. Is that all? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. I shall make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. I might have known. They warned me about you. Sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your hunger, and none shall tend to your wounds! Yen, you didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. The key to finding Ciri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Valen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardell. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think... Is there a chance that thing might be Siri? That, well, she's been transformed by some curse? Don't even want to think about it. Geralt, we must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. We have to do what we can, see what happens. Didn't learn much, though... Though we can be sure Ciri's not in Skellige anymore. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared. Again. Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned. We might have missed a clue that would push us forward. Certainly hope that's the case. <sighs> Makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Fine. Larvik. See you there soon. Thank you. For that, and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. It was nothing. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere.
Come on.
Greetings. I'd like to... Farewell. <laughs> Whoa! Slow now, whoa. Faster. Ever fight a dragon? How can I be of service? In times like these, don't pay to save coins on weapons. Show me what you have.
so long. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm -hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he'd penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his gin. Are you sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power, and that could be useful to us one of these days. Alright, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine, I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. See, you've managed to prepare everything already. I have. How could you possibly know I'd agree? I didn't. Decided to risk it. Lead the way. Just once, you might try to take the initiative. Would you even let me? It would depend on the situation. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Getting in or not?
Geralt, how long must I wait? Are you ready to sail? Not sure this gin thing's a good idea. We managed to seize one before, do you remember? Of course. Dandelion almost lost his voice that time. <laughs> how lucky your exorcism saved it. It was poetic. Yeah, how was I supposed to know that incantation meant be gone and plow yourself? You should have studied foreign languages. Gonna keep bringing that up for the rest of my life? Of course. Your last wish effectively assured it. My wish was about us being together always, not about you mocking my every mistake. Careful what you wish for. And when your wish is granted, you must accept it with all attendant circumstances. Yeah... And as for your missteps, I don't likely see why I shouldn't laugh if they're amusing. There's something here, on the bottom. It's too deep here. You can't dive that long. You underestimate me. On the contrary. After all, I asked you for help. I'll cast a spell. It will slow your heart for a time. You can stay submerged longer. Asad I cried a rithorn. Ready. Careful down there. How's your bath? Water warm enough for you? How's it going? Yeah, and you know I hate it when you read my mind. Strictly speaking, I'm not reading your mind, but using telepathy. Besides, you've nothing to hide, right? You wouldn't admit it if I did. Not the point. See anything interesting? A shipwreck in the cavern. I'll look inside. Snapped masts, busted planks, and a whole swarm of drowners. Probably drawn by the corpses of drowned crew. Then made their nest here. There's also a clan Drummond figurehead. Not the right ship. Come back up. the leads take us. Say we find the gym. What do we do? Ask for a beautiful house? And a palace? And a queen's crown? Are we still talking about the gym? Or have we moved on to the talking fish? Doesn't much matter. Both make wishes come true. What would yours be? You learn it. Something's here, another wreck. Let's see if our gin's down there. Found a 
wreck. It's been here a while. Woods are on it. Look around, but be careful. Look for... Got something. A Skelliger's buckler. Clan Haymai symbols. Donar's clan. Donar was a babe in swaddling clothes when this buckler landed here. Arrows stuck in the side. The kind pharaoh folk use. Yen. Doubt any of these boats were the mages. These are old sunken longships. Come back then. We must search elsewhere. Beautiful craftsmanship. What do you have? A war horn, bearing Clan Hamai symbols. Longship belonged to Clan Dimon. You're getting better at this. Go even quicker if you helped me down there. I prefer to observe matters from up here, most definitely. Yeah, like when we were looking for the golden dragon and the avalanche swept us off the trail. Me clinging to the remains of a bridge for dear life. You gripping my waist, admiring the view. Remember, the chasm below us was breathtaking. Rustling trees, a lazily flowing stream. I remember, though I found myself admiring what I had right in front of me. Something strange about those rocks. And there's something on the bottom. We'll see what it is. See something? Something doesn't do it justice. A huge crater, as if a meteorite landed here. I must see it. Diving in after all? No, I shall cast another spell, to see through your eyes. Now relax. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichte Illivade. That is no meteorite crater. What is it then? The effect of teleportation. A powerful force cut out a fragment of the seabed, rocks, and everything lying within the teleportation zone. Always claimed portals were dangerous. I believe we're on the right track. Look for anything that might contain a gin. Fine, but get out of my eyes. Too cramped in here for us both. I see Fultia Badem Ein Eichter Illivaid. No gin here, but there's something you ought to like. What? Half a seal. That'll do. Come back up. This basket exactly in half. Hmm. Something cut this basket exactly in half. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. But whatever cut the basket probably could. Transverse cut through the pelvis. Surgical precision. No conventional weapon can do this. But whatever cut the basket probably could. Silver. Pearl encrusted cutlery. Ship belonged to someone awfully wealthy. Amos was no pauper. It could very well be his ship.
Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this djinn? But you already know. A djinn's power is priceless to a mage. Won't warm your way out of it. Not this time. Tell me the truth or I'll leave. You needn't resort to blackmail. You would have learned eventually. True, but after the fact, I want to know now. How long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us? Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other, but I can never be certain if it's a true feeling or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You ask that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. I get it. You want to know what'll happen if magic no longer binds us. I want to know if when the djinn's magic is gone, if we've any magic left of our own. Hmm. Wondered that myself many times. You see? We're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Seems Amos was quite the eccentric, asking the djinn to lift half his ship to a mountaintop. He didn't necessarily. Jinns are inherently mischievous. This one might have grant nothing interesting. Nothing here. Hmm. Nothing interesting here. this means. Mystery of mysteries, Agnes of Glanville. Interesting. Nice shoes. Looks like the impact with the mountain was so powerful it popped the wearer right out of them. Mage must have slept here. Wonder what this means. Nothing here. Yen, think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book, except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like, take us away anywhere, to a mountaintop even, and the djinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! 
Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Rip kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et displer. Givered me castle. over. Yes. It's all over. Maybe we should sit. You look a bit dazed. I'm not, but we can sit. Feel any better? I told you, I'm fine. Don't need to play tough for me. That was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. <laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's... different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yin. And I love you. Oh. 
What was that? It can't be all sweetness and light. Strange. Done that so many times. But it felt like our first kiss to me. It was, in a way. Besides, once you say I love you, a kiss has to taste differently. Maybe we ought to test a few other things. Amos's cabin looked cozy. Not so fast, Geralt. We'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later. But I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. The spirits of Skellige favor us. Geralt. Got summoned by Radovid. He wants me to find Philippa. What a king. Not only cruel, but naive as well. Did he truly believe you'd help him? I took the job. Why? Gotta say, I'm curious what happened to her. And I didn't want any Redanians getting in my way while I tried to find out. Look. Found this in Philippa's hideout. A Megascope crystal? Damn, it's cracked. But it could still work. And Francesca's equally hesitant. Neither she nor Ida wishes to decide blindly. They'll stop hesitating as soon as we convince Kira and Fringilla. Fringilla's on our side. She'll join us as soon as she's finished some business in Nilfgaard. Wonderful. That leads Kira. The problem is, I've still no notion where she could be. Yennefer and Triss. Yennefer's never belonged to the Lodge. And Triss? Well, we shall see. I must regain my vision. I can go to Novigrad, then see Arthur de Ballista. The word is, Triss is also carousing about the city. You still insist? No, pardon my saying so, but you will never regenerate your eyes on your own. Vilgefort did it. I'm employing the same method, cultivating tissue on precious stones. It's madness. You will need a power. You'll put yourself in great danger. Damn it. That's it. I can't recover any more. I hear right. They mentioned the Lodge? Yes. And later, Philippa said something about vision regeneration.
think Philippa pulled it off? Restored her eyesight? It would be reckless, but not impossible. They seemed to say she was planning to implant tissue grown on precious stones. Till now, only Vilgefortz has ever managed. If she succeeded, well, I suppose congratulations would be in order. Margarita mentioned Ida and Francesca, then Kira and Frangilla. I've little doubt Philippa means to revive the Lodge of Sorceresses. They weren't sure about Triss, excluded you right away. I'd never agree to rejoin. Philippa believes only the Lodge can look after the Mage's interests effectively. I disagree, and prefer to act alone. Besides, the moment's inopportune. Reviving the Lodge would enrage both Radovid and the Emperor. They're at a critical stage of their duel for influence, and neither would welcome a new player. Hmm. Wonder what I should do with the crystal. It cannot fall into Radovid's hands, not under any circumstances. You'd better leave it with me. Right. It'll be safer with you. <laughs> Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes.
Your more ma plans? <laughs> As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mount. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods. Well. Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of you. They wanted to take back a forge. What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged the sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorog secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even. Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yelmar seems popular around here. He is cracksome. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew, hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on, no spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordrach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Figgy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Till now they'd call him the Loon. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there, or Amter. Wind blew you in again. Nice talking. Fair winds to you. Came of those nice barrel lads who went to the spider and dragon. Ooh.
say that when they say the Isles. If me eyes don't deceive me, someone's fed you a load of. And a friend of the great master Dandelion himself? The great master Dandelion. Hey, who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze? When next you see him, White Wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold his many achievements. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Wouldn't. See ya. Mm. 